Well, it's Good Friday, and after a long night of betrayal and abandonment and sheer mockery, uh, he goes on trial on these, this early Friday morning. He's interrogated. He is sentenced. They do release Barabbas as uh, the people crying, crucify him, crucify him. He's flogged and a normal, I mean, that, that could kill a man in and of itself. He's, of course, forced to carry his own cross. He hung on the cross for six hours, relatively short period of time. Of course, no one took his life from him. He voluntarily uh, gave it up. I thought this morning we would only meditate on the last sayings of Jesus on the cross, mention his burial, and then pray. So very slowly, I'll read through the last seven sayings of Jesus on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Woman, behold thy son. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I thirst. It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. He's buried by Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, how could we ever, ever thank you enough? I guess we'll spend an eternity thanking you forever and ever and ever for the sacrifice you made in your humiliation, your life, your death, the beatings and the scourging beforehand, the mockery, but taking the wrath of God on yourself, the wrath that we deserved, our punishment that you took. All we like sheep have gone astray, but God hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Hear our thanks. Remind us with such a burden there might be a sorrow or for what our sin has caused the very, how heinous our sin is. And Lord, we ask you to take us through this Friday and Friday night, through the shadows of darkness tonight at Tenebrae. And then we hasten Sunday morning. Thank you that we have hope. Thank you that there is something that is awaiting for us, awaiting us on this coming Lord's Day morning and each Lord's Day, Resurrection Sunday. We rejoice that because he lives, we will live forever and ever. Give us Holy Spirit contemplation this entire day. For we make our prayer in the name of the Lamb of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.